Uh, oh, oh, don't crash! Oh. Hey guys, this is Jim, and welcome to Ob's Factorio, our modded Factorio series, guys. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying, hmm, something. Uh, what was the funniest thing that you saw this week, guys? <laughs> Did you see anything funny? I gather something funny's happened at some point. Uh, leave those. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything funny happened this week with me. And you know what? I don't think I've laughed out loud. Probably chuckled or something, <laughs> but not... I'm laughing now. What am I talking about? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, guys, we are... Where are we? What did we do last episode? Uh, the train. The train is chugging along nicely uh, over here. Um, we've got tons of lead built up now. Uh, I put these walls and some gates here since last episode, so it's a bit more fortified. Uh, the biters, they can't get across the bridge there. I didn't actually show it on camera, but you can't actually walk across those bridges. Um, so they're just for the trains, which is good. Uh, we're still occasionally getting them come around and attack over here. Uh, and I did set up the stone as well here, so there was a little bit of stone that we can mine up. And at the moment, it's just going into that storehouse. Uh, and we're not, we're not actually bringing it back yet. So uh, we, can, we can work on that one uh, when our stone supply gets down a bit, which is going to happen pretty soon. Where is our stone? Uh, somewhere down there. Stone. Oh, there it is. 90. Oh, yes. We are... Oh, there's only little patches left now. Ooh, I am going to have to get that uh, <laughs> that stone over here very shortly. Uh, in the meantime, guys, research. Now, uh, T, we can't actually do any research right now. We used up all the red-green uh, research technologies, just with the red, red and the green. So now we need blue uh, or... Further down, there's the black. Uh, all these these other ones, these special ones added by Bob's. So let's take a look at that and which ones we can actually make because there's not that many. So the blue, well, that needs that white circuit that we can't make yet. Uh, and batteries and bronze, so a whole bunch of stuff we haven't got. The black one we can, though. So that's the military science pack. And we can get these crafting and researching. And a lot of that military stuff, as you can imagine, is for sort of weapons, shields, armor, uh, all that sort of stuff around there. So I think that's what we're going to have to set up to craft now. So we just need to craft piercing rounds, magazines, grenades, and gun turrets. All of those are within our grasp. We're already doing the, uh, the piercing rounds, actually, there. So we're using these as our ammo currently. Uh, but we do need to auto-craft the other things to get then those science packs being created so we can move on to our rest of our research. The problem is, <laughs> we've been building this uh, this bus with all our stuff going up the middle, uh, but it's getting very big and longer and longer. So we've got room over this side, uh, but if we, uh, if we keep going at this rate, we're going to end up somewhere all the way out here, aren't we? So we might actually turn a corner. We might actually get stuff coming across this direction a bit and then have it have that main bus come down and then go back down this direction down into this space. So we might just uh, shift out uh, the resin, maybe move that over the side and then this fuel stuff, we might move it over this side and then just have our bus go through here. We'll give that a try I think. Okay, well those are gone. <laughs> And they're over this side now. So, let's see. Have we got it right? Yes, you there. Fuel guys. Resin seems to be coming up a bit slow. But, uh, not resin, the, the sawdust. Are we, are we low on sawdust? Oh no, it's just slow inserters. <laughs> Might have to upgrade those too, I think. Uh, but otherwise, that's good. Now we can get on with the... Uh, with the grenades, which are just uh, coal and iron, and the gun turret. It's just the, the Mark one there, so that's uh, all that stuff we do have available to us, so we can get those crafting as well. Hmm. Um, gradually getting there. I think the common term for this is spaghetti. <laughs> 
We've got belts and splitters and underground belts and all sorts of things all over the place. Uh, but it's getting there. There's, I, I actually like having lots of belts showing all your stuff. Um, it looks cool. <laughs> it's just that, uh, well, in this case, these gun turrets, they need plates, motors, basic circuit boards, and iron gear wheels. So we're going to get all these things over here somehow. Uh, well, there, there's two of them, and try to get these other ones. So th this is a, well, this is quite a process. So if we want to get, <laughs> uh, we want to get these on one side of the belt and these on the other. Um, yes. So what if we take out these for a minute and then get, say, this and put that there and then have half come around there like that okay and then what if we change put a splitter there oh we got half there at there okay and there then coming through there oops oh uh, whoops whoopsie 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 <laughs> and then I messed up this ah 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 no we got we might have to push this back one have that there have a underground there and there okay yes it's looking good and then these guys can come under there there and then back round there on that same line <laughs> it's getting there guys look at it it's it's, it's pretty it looks good it looks very well thought out and <laughs> or not uh, and then this we might want to do so that 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 oops that right that 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 okay oh good all happy <laughs> uh yeah but it's getting there it's it's definitely getting there it's just uh well it's not pretty is it but yeah hmm what do you reckon is, is this a mess guys or, or do you like seeing all the belts and stuff uh what do you think <laughs> okay bang do 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 it good 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 and then we can just do that, that, that. Grab some power for those guys. Bang, bang. All right, good. Military science is now on the way. Excellent. Oh, I'm out of belts. <laughs> I've got these auto crafting somewhere over here. Uh, can you see them? There they are. There they are. Oh, we'll grab half of those. Good. All right. So once we're done with this. Well then, hmm, I'm not sure, we, we might have to perhaps consider moving on ooh, to uh, those uh, white uh, science uh, <laughs> packs. Ah. Oh, uh, now where are we going to get them? We're gonna, so they're going to have to go in here. Uh, maybe we'll just run them across this way, directly there. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's bring them down right down there. Oh, although they are going to have to uh, go over this guy as well. So let's just move that guy out of the way. Grab a splitter. Half that way. Half this way. They'll back up, so that's fine. Uh, and then we can just replace that reach it does. Good, like so. Okay, military science now available. Nearly. <laughs> nearly. Nearly, nearly, bang. There we are, we've got one at least. So, we can start researching. So, what's the first the first one there that has the black? Uh, black, 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 black. Oh, here we go. What's this guy? Sniper turret. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. He's only going to need 25 as well of each one, so that should be nice and quick too. Rightio. Oil. Oil, guys. Oil, I think, is what we're going to go for next. Now, these white circuits, it's going to take us a while, but we're going to get there. So the transistors there need a few things, but plastic is one of them. And we need plastic for a lot of things, really. In fact, if we right-click on that, there's 39 recipes with the plastic. Yeah, so that's what we're going to need, and we need oil to get to the plastic, amongst other things. So, let's have a look. Oil, 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 oil. There is a awesome big patch, a couple of patches, I think, up here of oil. These little purple dots, all oil. Uh, so there's a big patch there. There's some of these ones out in the middle of the ocean as well. There's a mod that lets us get those. 
so there's a few around, but I, I think we'll aim for these because it's such a big, big patch here. Uh, that's what we're going to go for. Now we could do trains around here or even straight over the water, but given you know, given mods, 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 we have ships. Ah, tank ship. Bang. Let's craft that. That might take a little while, <laughs> but ships are essentially the way they've been implemented. Is they're like um, trains on the ocean, so you still need to make a like a track for them, uh, so that they can sort of follow a path through the ocean around here, and then you can unload and load them, similar to trains, but using things like these. These are ship loading pumps, so we'll make a few of those as well. And this stuff here, straight waterway. This is the uh, this is the equivalent of rails, if you like, for the ships. So we'll make we're going to need a ton of those. So we'll make heaps of those. Uh, and we've oh, we're also slowly working through our our uh, our uh, science science there modular turrets. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Some more turrets. Excellent. And we might try out a few more weapons as well uh, when we make our way up here. There are some biter bases there, so we are going to need to protect uh, the little area here. And look at that. There's a big lead <laughs> a lead spot. Oh, if only we knew about that earlier. Uh, okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, I'll get these things crafted. Oh, is the ship ready? It is. Ah, let's put down the ship. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> what was I just saying? It still needed tracks, didn't it? Effectively tracks. Uh, and I think what we'll do, we'll have our little port. We'll build a port and have it around here. So let's just... Uh... So this is very similar to laying tracks. So you can sort of do the, the little arrow thing there and then come around like so. So it does have signals and things too. So something like that. Uh, and if we can put our ship on it. Where is the ship? Ship, 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 ship. Here he is. Ooh, look at that. Bam. Look at that. Very cool. Look at that tanker. So there's two types of ships. There's the tanker one and there's a cargo ship. Uh, which I will craft up a bit later, but the, this is the one we want. Uh, so you fuel it up, it looks just like a train there. Uh, let's give it some coal, there we go. And can I hop in from here? I can, good, okay. And basically we can drive it like a ship. Here comes the smoke. <laughs> Sorry, like a train. Uh, it's much slower, of course. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder how close we get to the... Maybe I made it a bit close. Will we actually collide there? Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> Hitbox maybe is interesting. All right. Oh, and now we've hit the track. So what we'll do, we'll make a, basically a track or a, or a ship lane. We'll call it a ship lane. That sounds better, doesn't it? Uh, somewhere up here. Uh, maybe around here. This little spot here might be a good spot to load and unload. Hmm, except um, don't try and <laughs> do it at night. It's very dark, isn't it? Uh, we don't have the nice big bright circle around us when we're on the ships or the trains. Uh, yeah, oh well, I'll have to wait till daytime. Right, we're slowly getting there. Good thing we've got the uh, the long reach or the far reach installed. It means we can place the uh, the ship blocks down further, although I think it even might itself add kind of a long reach thing when you're on a ship. So you can place the uh, the shipping lanes there. Okay, so we're close there. There's that big lead patch there. Uh, the oil in amongst the trees there. So uh, where we have an actual, let's see, unloading, loading. So the, the oil pumping up is going to have to happen right around here. So we might do it over this side, somewhere along here. Uh, I did bring some landfill. We're definitely going to need that, I think to sort of make a little uh, sort of pier jetty terrain thingy <laughs> there. Uh, oops, ship, I'm braking, brake, slow down, ship, ship, slow down. I'm pressing backwards, slow down, stop, stop. <laughs> Got a bit of a momentum, I think, the ships, don't they? Okay, so now, ship stopped, good. Can I actually get off, shift, enter? I can, oh, look at that, we, we end up down here. Oh, should have brought some lumberjacks. Uh, okay, so we we'll want to do some filling some terrain. Let's increase the size there now. The question is, how close do we need to get the uh, the landfill there to the ship? 
I just want to make sure we get it right. Uh, is it about there? Alright. Okay, so the way the good way to test this I think is uh, can we try an inserter putting in fuel? That'll be a good little test. So if we have a chest uh, there with an inserter here. Oops. Uh, like so. Oh, power. Oh, yeah. Power. Ah, <laughs> uh, power. Ah. Oh, yes, we need all power to get things here, don't we? Oh, I hadn't kind of considered that. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Right, well, before we do the power, I just made a burner inserter. We can use that instead. Will this put coal in ship? from there. Not quite. Okay. So we can't actually put the inserter one block over. We could do the long reach thing, but the, the pumps we need to put the oil on the ship uh, don't have a long reach type thing, or we can't adjust the, the length of the inserter arm or pump arm. So how about that now? So if we shift you back to there, and then put the inserter on, bam, and give you a bit more coal. Can you now get in the ship? Yes. Yes, okay. So that looks like to be about the line of where our dock should be. Uh, the next question will be what we make it out of, but we'll get to that, I think. So the pumps that we, we made are somewhere. <laughs> uh, there. there we go. Ship loading pump. Okay, I uh, see. Yeah, so it does line up there like that. Okay, so you could, we could have two... Three, four, five, six. And if we click on the ship, does it have like six six compartments or does it not tell us? Hmm, doesn't look like it. So it looks like we can't actually uh, hit the ship to find out its different compartments. No. Okay, well, we assume if we have our dock there. Okay, cool. Now, power-wise, um, Good question. We probably need to use some long power poles, the big ones. Now, it does add floating electric power poles. So these are like the big electric power poles, but you can place them on water. So that might have to do for a start, I think. We might go with that. Right, so I've been around and made the loop. Uh, what we'll do, just like the trains, uh, we do need like ports. So train stops effectively for the ships. So if we put this guy there, maybe? So it's just like a train station. Uh, we'll call this one uh, oil fields. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Now you notice how it's got also got the railway <laughs> stops there. I've, I've already put one back at the base for the drop off, but oil fields port. There we go. How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. And then just like uh, the normal the, the, the trains, we can say, well, I want you to go to the oil fields port uh, until your inventory is full. And we'll put him on automatic just to make sure he stops where we, we expect him to stop. Just there. Yes. Ooh. Uh, okay, probably went a fraction further than that I was thinking. But that, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So uh, we'll probably just shift... Oh, do we need to shift that pump? Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if we're figuring it out as we go along, guys, this is great. Uh, four. Okay. Oop. And then we put another pump there. How about that? In fact, how many set? It looks like it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Possibly even more we could fit in. Uh, but for now, look, the ship is there, ready to go. Now, I've started working on the power poles as well, getting these laid out. So if you have a close look, you see they're on sort of these... Uh, these buoys out in the middle of the water there so we've got them running all the way to there we just need to bring one over say uh, somewhere here in fact we can probably just use a regular power pole there can't we oh oh that one doesn't reach interesting okay uh, this one it is then uh, maybe sort of bring him across here about there there we go and then join up to a regular big power pole up there. Cool. Okay, good. All right, so here we are. We've got our ship's power getting ready there. Uh, but the main thing we want to do is get 
I'm zooming in and out. Apologise. Sorry. <laughs> Stop zooming in and out, Jim. Just uh, stay still. Uh, we'll put down some lumberjacks. I think we'll get these trees cut up. Uh, I've already made us some uh, some pump jacks. Bam. Okay. So here we are. It highlights all the oil for us. Uh, so we'll want to put down a few of these guys. Um, like so. Need power, of course, but at least they'll pump up the oil for us, which is good. Uh, and then we're going to need somewhere to put that oil. Um, which will be over near where the ships come in. Ooh, look at that. Uh, of course, now that we're near forests, the wisps are back. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, that's how you get rid of trees. Just... <laughs> Chuck down a whole ton of these sawmills there. Ah, very good. So what we'll do, we'll have the uh, these come through pipes from the pump jacks there. And because we are sort of uh, out in the middle of nowhere, with baddies potentially around, we're safe at the moment, but what we'll do, we'll build a little sort of uh, fortified port here. So once these trees are cut down, we'll just... Uh, you know, chuck up some walls, we'll look at some more guns and things, similar, something like this. Uh, and then we'll also have a, a big chunk of storage. So for the tanks, we do have the, the liquid tanks there. So we'll probably want to have them close to the ship so they can quickly uh, load up the ship when they come in. But uh, I think we're going to need some space, aren't we? <laughs> Hurry up, lumberjacks! Okay, just while we wait for the the last trees to be cut down. We want to make this look like, look nice, I think, too. Now, at the moment, it's just this landfill stuff, which is pretty ugly, isn't it? We want to make it look cool. So, uh, some of this hazard stuff would look cool, except we aren't making concrete at the moment. What Dectorio does add, it adds coal gravel, copper gravel, iron gravel, and stone gravel. So, I'm curious to look at the coal one. I don't think we can really afford it at the moment. Uh, but let's make some of that, and we'll also make some of just the black dirt and compare how that looks to the coal gravel. And this does give you an extra... These four give you a speed boost with your walking speed. So here's some stone gravel. Uh, let's reduce the size a bit. What's that look like? Yeah, sort of your typical kind of grey gravel there, doesn't it? So that's... I don't think that would really suit our port here. But what about the uh, the coal gravel? Uh, let's have a look at this. See, that that would be good for a road, wouldn't it? That looked quite nice for a road. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be pretty cool. But what about just then the uh, the black dirt? How does that compare to, say, the black gravel there? Uh, hmm, hang on, let's do this. Get a bit more of an idea. You could almost get away with that uh, as being like a road shape as well if you sort of put a nice edging on it with maybe some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. What do we use here to make our port? I mean, the concrete would probably be the nicest and make it look sort of more industrial, wouldn't it? But uh, I don't think we can make it at the moment. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> so I've got some plenty of walls there. The few gun turrets I had on me are there. They're in place there. Some of them are only the Mark I ones, though, so we will need to upgrade our guns. Uh, oh, I probably need to make some of the gates, too, so we can uh, walk through there a bit easier. One, two, three. We'll get them crafting. Okay, so yeah, so we've got our storage there ready to go, uh, but we want to bring all this oil all the way down there now let's see uh, we've got plenty of pipes no we do not we do have plenty of choices for pipes though because Bob's adds a ton of different pipes we've got the copper well the, the vanilla one is only the iron ones but we've got copper stone bronze steel plastic and brass as well uh, which is all very cool but I think the stone ones are probably the ones we can afford maybe <laughs> at the moment we'll make a ton anyway well, we've got this big lead patch there, so we probably don't want to run pipes through it. So how about, let's see, if we look at putting, like, pipes out in the water. Now, obviously, we can't place it there. So what if we put just a tiny bit of landfill there and then do that? So some of the different types of pipes, the underground pipes, can do different lengths. 
Uh, these ones I think can only go like 10 blocks, but that's okay. We'll put um, make the we'll make those islands look nice. Uh, we'll land, we'll color them up with whatever. So, and then there. So then we can take that all the way there, and then with these guys we'll just uh, somehow join all these up. Mm, somehow, <laughs> something like this. We might need to put some pumps in place to get a bit more pressure uh, when we get them actually pumping the, the oil through there. Something like that, and then something like that, and then join them all up over to the, to the tanks down there. Okay, I think we should be able to hook it up. Bam! Okay. Let's check this out. The pump jacks pumping. They are. That one's going strong. 21.1, 21 per second oil. That guy. He is not got any power. Oh, hang on. Fixed. <laughs> he's got power. Good. He's pumping away there. This guy is pumping away as well. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of oil there. Now we need some more pump jacks, I think. Did I make any more? Oh, I'm in the process of making something. They take a while to make, but we are going to need a few more, and we've gone for the Tier 2 pump jacks straight away. Uh, so then down here now, these should be coming into the tanks. Very good. We're getting our crude oil into the tanks there, and then we're going to want to be able to pump them onto the ship here. So if we just get a bit of power... Uh, something like that. So the pumps are there pointing in. Very good, but we do need to join up the tanks and I don't have enough pipes. Okay, now we do. So, and then just on any outlet there like that. Okay. That guy's pumping. That guy is a little slowly. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, why aren't you guys pumping? Are they, these two taking up all the oil, maybe? <laughs> Interesting. Maybe we'll uh, do a little uh, something like... And... Like that. Maybe. That might be able to pump them up faster. Having said that, we don't have uh, that much oil. Uh, hmm, interesting. They're not pumping up very fast, but... Uh, Never mind, but it does mean we are set up now. So let's get a nice view there. Look at that. Our ship is being filled with oil. Can we find out how much it's got? Doesn't look like it, does it? No. It's like this is opening the engine, not the cargo parts of it. Okay, never mind, but we are set up. So uh, what if we do... Uh, we'll change that to manual for a sec. So oil fields port, full cargo inventory... Or we'll do um, 30 seconds. We might give it all a bit longer. It takes a long time for it to get from A to B. So we might give it even like two minutes. So it's here at, for the most, for two minutes. Uh, and then we want to get him to drop it off. Oil drop off port that we haven't set up yet. Uh, we've got the, the port there, but not the actual tanks and things. So oil drop off port um, until inventory empty or well, we give it oh, we might give it like uh, three minutes we'll give it three minutes to empty at most yeah okay good so he's good to go we'll put him on automatic off he goes maybe <laughs> in fact we've got to hop on so we can get back uh, otherwise oh I heard an alert something beeping what was beeping oh up here Oh, it's bite us already. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We need to... Dear me. Oh, I didn't think they'd be this quick getting down here. But turns out they are. Where are you guys? Oh, they're wrecking our pups already. Uh, oh, I haven't got any ammo. I took all my ammo out and put them in the gun turrets. Oh, dear. There we go. <laughs> Whoopsie. Is that it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so they do go for the pump jacks. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, that will have to do for the moment. They haven't got very much ammo, but hopefully enough just to prevent a couple of the biters coming down. If we have a concerted attack, I think we'll be in trouble. Uh, and we might not put these other pumps down just yet. I've got three more, 
Maybe we should put some over on the islands here because there's a few more oil patches there. They'd certainly be safe over there, wouldn't they? So that might be a way to go. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, and in all the excitement, our, our ship left. <laughs> I completely forgot about our ship. Where's our ship? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it must have hung around here at the port for three minutes before leaving. Um... Oh, we can mouse over it and see this, how much oil it's carrying at least. But uh, yes, that means we need to come and set this spot up, don't we? Oop, and he's back. <laughs> That's good, because we need a lift. Yoink! Ah, home sweet home. Bing! <laughs> Alright, we'll set up this side of the port as well. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> We have a look over here. Uh, our ship has run out of fuel. Oh no. <laughs> it's out in the middle. It's adrift in the middle of the ocean <laughs> with no fuel. Um, how are we going to get over there to give it fuel? Uh, um, I think the short answer is we can't unless we put some landfill in or we... Uh, or we make another ship. <laughs> well, we do have our drop-off point here ready to go when we fill our ship up. So I made us one of the uh, the cargo ships uh, instead of another tanker because we might as well have a look. Hey, that's very cool. I love how the, the big compartments open up there. That's very nice. All right, let's uh, chuck in some fuel for him. We can give him some of that vehicle fuel. Uh, all right, Oop, off he goes, closes up. Oop, auto save. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, he's kind of crushing the, the port there. <laughs> oh, it's dark. We can't see it. Um, yeah, okay. You get the idea. I'll, I'll take up um, some fuel to our other ship. Uh, oh, oh, don't crash. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> I was braking, braking. I, I forget ships have a lot of momentum and they're in water. Oh, I, I don't... I think, guys, it might have been full of oil too because we hadn't... It hadn't dropped off the oil because we hadn't... It, oh, oh, boy. Well, there you go. <laughs> I think on that note, guys, that's, that's a good note to finish up on, exploding a ship. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, goodness me. Oh, well, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, Yeah, we'll see you in the next episode where I'll try not to crash stuff. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye-bye.